Welcome back, fellas, into this new video of the Tax Press. Today, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to resize product pictures inside the Shopify. So, if your images aren't the right sized, if you're looking that your images can look distorted or a little bit unprofessional, I'm going to be walking through the steps to resize your product images and ensure that the Shopify store looks great. So, first of all, what you want to do is to focus it into your store, check out your product, and check out your images. Our goal today is to do these images. I'm going to try to make these images a little bit smaller. I wanted, of course, to not focus into, let's say this one is smaller and only this, uh, this size. So there are a few ways of how we can actually focus in here. First of all, what you need to do is to understand the image requirements. So before all of this, you want to, of course, understand what does the Shopify recommends using uh, your images when you upload your images. When you go directly into your products and you hit into add your product, usually here it's going to be asking you to enter your media. Now, what you might not know is that the actual Shopify recommends using a square images with 2048 uh, by 2048 resolution for product photos. This is the minimum, so you can get a really straight and really great resolution of your images. And the second, you want to ensure that your images are high quality and consistent across your store for a clean and professional appearance. With that in mind, then we can make the resizing images directly inside the Shopify. So, if you go back, make sure, of course, that you have products into your store so you can continue. Let's, of course, focus into the left part that says products. Now, here I select the product I wanted to edit and clicked into the product images. So, I click in here. And here I go and select my product. Now, if I select my product, you might see that here's like the preview. Shopify allows you to crop, transform, change the name, and resize your um, image. So here I have 2000 by 2000. If I wanted to make this smaller, I can try it out 1000 by 1000, and I applied it. And I hit now into save. Once this process has now been successfully done, you might want to make some edits directly into the editor. So, the second thing is to use some online tools to resize some images. For example, you can use Canva, Pixel Art, or whatever. This is not recommended, but I believe that you can use this if you wanted to. Now, if I go back into my product, and you still see that your image still looks exactly the same size, then I needed to go back into Shopify go into online store and inside my online store I wanted to focus now into the area of my current theme so let's go for customized now that we are inside the customization banner I wanted to go into the section of my product let's say this one if I click here you should see that here is a template of our product if you click into the image you should see here that we have all the information the product information so usually the media feed can be changed from original or into fill. Now we can change this kept layout as a stacked to columns, thumbnails, and much more. Now into the image zoom, let's go for no zoom, mobile layouts, hide, and there we go. Now you have here the section that says custom CSS. Here what we can do is to add in a specific section to try to make this square a little bit much more smaller. So if you don't know surely anything about coding, just open any tab. Open ChatDBD, a place that you can ask for almost everything. And now here you can tell ChatDBD what you're actually looking for. Let's say I have a Shopify store. I have a product, page, and my image is a little bit big. There is a section into the area that says CSS. Give me a code to make my image of the product smaller in the page. And the ChatDBD is going to be doing its own job. So here, this is how it should be working actually. So I copy it, I go back, and I paste the custom CSS. Now we can change the height and the auto. We can change the percentage as needed. So let's say that here, let's go for 30%, save. 
and reload the page to see if there are any changes that actually works into our product. And now if this one still does not work, then I can suggest you to just um, edit this straight directly into the coding editor. So let's go here for the three dots, edit code. And now this one should be sending us directly into the coding editor of our theme. Now you have to be worried about all of these elements. Just focus into the lip hot. I'm gonna look out for the section of the main product. Here, I'm gonna scroll down until I find the word wrapped. If you don't find it, that you think that this is too um, difficult, let's go for Windows F. As you can see here is product media wrapped. So here is the thumbnail slider, a little bit into the up, here is the margin left. I'm gonna change this for 55, for example. And my image now looks a little bit smaller. I can try it out with 10% if I wanted to. And see if this one has not been applied. And there you have it, guys. That's how you can actually change the in a specific image of the Shopify and the current size. So, just in case you have any question, uh, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, this was a very useful solution for you. And, well, hopefully, you can all see you next time. See you soon.